everyone, Amy here from Amy's Planner and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Um, I'm going to unbox next year's Hobonichi Weeks and A6. Um, so it's a Hobonichi box. I haven't got the front of it for two reasons. Firstly, it's got my dress on it and I can't cover it. But also, my box got a little bit beaten up on the trip. Um, you know, it arrived very quickly though. So the fact that it got a little bit beaten up is not an issue for me because it will be going in the bin. Um, I'm not sentimental about boxes. Um, so, as I said, I got a Hobonichi Weeks and I got an A6 Avec, and I'm going to show you both of these. I also, because I bought them from the Hobonichi store, I have two pens and the little spoon, which is cool. I don't quite know what the little spoon is for, but I have a little spoon, so let's have a look at that. So I don't read Japanese. My language skills are limited to a little bit of French. That's kind of it. A little bit of French. Um, which I probably need to work on. I would like to have a little bit more than a little bit of French. But I have a little bit of French. No Japanese. Um, so I can't tell you what any of that says. But I do have now this little spoon on a chain with a smiley face. You see the smiley face. I don't know if you can see the smiley face with uh, my uh, ring light, but we'll see. So it took me a while to get the chain on. And so I got a little bit frustrated, put it aside for a second, opened up all the other plastics and then tried again. And it went on like first time. So little spoon thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's a spoon. So whatevs. Um, I do have two of the pens. This year's pen is a um, teal or aqua blue um, and it's a I believe it's 0.3 or 0.4 um, ballpoint with black blue and red and now I have two of these um, it's a uni pen so you can always get um, replacement ink pretty much anywhere because it's a uni pen um, so yeah that's really sweet I don't tend to use them but that doesn't mean I don't enjoy getting them but really, the reason we're here are these these two. These two very, very pretty planners. Well, one very pretty and one very practical. Um, I'm going to start with my new Hobonichi Weeks. So this is the Liberty Fabric Weeks. Um, and it's really soft. Like, it feels literally like they've put fabric over it. Which I think is pretty much what they've done. Um, now, Liberty Fabrics. Uh, Liberty Fabrics was founded in London. Uh, da 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 it's very pretty. I like it a lot. I think this is a really cute planner. When I pulled it out of the wrapping, it had these two plastic sheets either side of it. And I'm like, oh, it's going to be like really hard. Then I took it off and I'm like, oh, it's really soft. So I bought a clear, like a clear cover on cover or a clear slip, basically. Not really cover on cover, but to go around it, which is really good. And I also have a new like um, cover to go in my bag. So... That's for next year. It is a Hobonichi Weeks. It is pretty standard. I did get a standard, not a mega, because I don't really use the back pages very much. Planning on using them more next year, but we'll see. You know, we'll always see. But it's its gorgeous self. It's a very thin cover. Um, I haven't had one with a hard cover in a couple of years, so I can't even compare it. Because um, this year's, I, this year's, this year I have the Sneaker Weeks, which is like, I don't want to bend this one, but it, it literally bends in half because it's um, not got the card, whereas this one has the card. So that's the new Weeks, Liberty Fabrics. It's beautiful. Um, I am going to link the link down below. So the um, the link to the Hobonichi Weeks, the Hobonichi Weeks, the Hobonichi website to that one. Um, and I also got, and I had one of these last year and I loved it, um, uh, A6 Avec. So this is in Japanese, like it's not English. Um, if you wanted an A6 English, you have to get the A6 English, which doesn't come as an AVEC, which would be fine if you just wrote in your planner and pen. But I really like stickers. And I don't even know if I have my old A6 around. Um, I did do a, over here, a um, flip through of my A6 at the beginning of this year, because I was using one last year. 
and I only used it like a couple of months of it and it was like this big by the end. So I really like the Avec because I fill this up, Jan, to June and then I can put it away and get a new one out so it means that my planner doesn't end up being that big. Because I like chunky planners but I don't love trying to write in them. Um, so it's uh, an A6 planner, it's very sweet. Um, so usual pages at the start and then you get um the year pages so um you know year at a glance or whatever you get four months at a time sorry about that and then uh there's a grid calendar um so this is december 2021 and then january 2022 and you get uh, april may june you get up to June in the first one, and then you get July to December in the second. You do get, um, I'll just go back to these year at a glance pages. You do get a full year of year at a glance at the start. So you can kind of like pre-plan in this and then, or pre-plan in this and then move on. So June, and then you get um, turning the page to a new year, um, a whole double spread of just places you can draw notes. And then 1st of January is here. And for each month, you get like a little splash page or cover page. Um, again, I don't read Japanese, so I can't tell you what these say. Um, I'm sure there are translations on the internet if you want one. And then for the next month, so when you go into February, um, again, splash page. Each day you have a little, sorry, each spread you have a little calendar in between some quotes that again can't read Japanese so I can't tell you what it says and then a little calendar tells you which days you're looking at so 21st and 22nd of February um, and then so for example duh, this is the last full week in February so the 28th is the only day in February left it's on a Monday, so it's here, and then this, like the the month splash page, and then it continues going with the weeks. So it does break it up really nicely. I like doing a decorative splash page, so that's going to be really cool for me. So you get up to the sixth month, and then there is um, a blank page, a timetable. So if you wanted to use it for university or for school or for like personal like you can set it up like morning afternoon whatever um graph paper favorites my 100 whatever and then all these information pages which, um you know that's cool some information various things gifts pages um Stuff, addresses personal notes and then that's the end so because the second book is the same as the first book just a different color um this one's yellow and this one's blue all the insides are the same when you line it up they're the same and that's pretty much it that is my um Hobonichi haul for 2022 and i am really 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 excited to use this and use these and I'm really excited to get started on next year. So that'll be awesome to be in some different planners, change my lineup a little bit. But yeah, still sticking in a, Hob a Hobonichi. Can't speak today. Um, but also adding a couple of different things into my lineup. What planner are you using next year? I have seen some people already put up their lineup for next year. I haven't a hundred percent decided on my lineup for next year. I've got a couple of things planned, but uh, you know, I kind of know what I want. Kind of know what I want. I think I know what I want. I know I'm going to use these two. It's a couple of other things I'm going to chuck in there, I think, but I'm not a hundred percent, but I'll let you know in January basically, because I'll decide it by then. But you know, what are you using? Comment down below. Tell me what you're using next year. 2022 for your planners are you using hobonichi are you changing are you staying with what you currently use i'm really curious like 
I don't think I've ever used, this is the first year that I'll have used the same planner like two years in a row, like Hobonichi then Hobonichi. Um, because I had one in like 2019 that I didn't use one in 2020. I used one in 2021 and now I'm going to use one in 2022. So it's like the first year that I've carried over a planner, I'm going to be using it twice. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'll see how it goes. I'll see if I can stick it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. As I've said, comment down below with what you're going to use next year planner wise or schedule wise or stationary wise or just tell me about next year. Um, you can find me over on Instagram at, at Amy's Planner. I'd love to see you across there too. But the most important thing is I hope you have a nice day. Bye.